Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel. You join me inside my Audi A4 B5. We're having a little bit of a catch-up. Um, this I'm going to be calling a, I don't know, a channel roundup, a channel catch-up, stuff to come, and a life update as well. The reason I'm in my Audi A4 B5, if you haven't been watching the videos on the channel, is because we went for an MOT test this morning. I don't want to give too much away, but well, I'm driving it home with a smile on my face. Read into that what you will. Um, I just want to touch base with you guys just to say uh, thank you for a start. Over 5,100 subscribers to the channel. That is massively humbling considering I started this with me, myself, a little mobile phone and sort of 100 followers um, making videos about Proton. So the fact that over 5,000 people are now subscribed to the channel watching what Dad and I do tinkering in our shed in Lincolnshire that is massively humbling. So thank you for that. I wanted to just uh, acknowledge that. Um, and all the comments as well, all of you guys that comment on all the videos, is including the regular video, uh, re regular regulars who comment on the videos, um, that means so much to us. Um, we enjoy hearing from you. We enjoy the fact knowing that you're watching and you're enjoying the content. And um, it keeps us going a little bit as well. So thank you very much. And all the... Um, donations to the channel as well. People have sent cash our way recently. Massively humbling. We're not here to be a charity, so please don't think this is a beg for cash. It certainly isn't, because just by you watching the videos, um, we get YouTube revenue, and that YouTube revenue goes all the way back, does like a full circle. It's like recycling. The circle of life, <laughs> the circle of rust, and um, every penny that I earn uh, from the YouTube revenue goes back into keeping the fleet on the road and making videos. So I wanted to just acknowledge that because I don't want people to think that all of a sudden I'm going to uh, elope to Turkey with my £100 this month and, uh, and spend it all on FS. Anyway, what's coming on the channel? Well, if you haven't seen the latest video, Dad and I had a chat about Rustival 2, which is coming in September. We're going to be getting out of the garage my very first car, which is a K11 Nissan Micra. It's been in the garage for 10 years now. It's been off the road. I've owned the car since 2007. Dad bought it for me as my first car, and it's been sleeping. It's going to be an interesting nostalgia hit. I'm probably going to cry. That sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? But um, yeah, it's probably going to be one of them things that I'm going to see it in the daylight and there's going to be a whole wave of emotions of excitement and upset. So coming soon to the channel, K11 Micro Sport restoration, fettling, getting it on the road. And the plan is to take it to Rustival 2. I know quite a few of you have commented in other videos when we've mentioned it that you're looking forward to that. So if you are looking forward to that, let me know in the comments below. Um, we are getting that sorted this week. I'm off work this week and it's a busy, busy, busy old week. Um, when I'm filming this, it's Monday. I've just taken the Audi A4 for an MOT. I've got a dentist appointment in a minute, and then we've got some work to do. We might even start working on the Micra this afternoon. Um, I've got some exciting stuff coming to the channel in association with a local garage, which is Drayton Motors in Boston. They are a KGM dealership, a Suzuki dealership, and I think they've got Kia and a couple of other brands as well. Um, Without giving too much away, you might see some KGM material on the channel, um, which is going to be a little bit different to our usual stuff. So hopefully you'll stick with us with that. Basically, uh, they've allowed me to have a look at some of their fleet. So I'm excited about having a look around some KGM cars because I know absolutely nothing about that. And if you've watched the video with Dad and I in a car park, which is our garden centre car park, we've seen a KGM Tivoli, I think a Sangyong it used to be. Um, then they're going to let me have a poke around that. That's really exciting. Some exciting smart car stuff is coming as well, including magazine features. I don't want to give too much away about that, but um, I think you might see a little purple smart car on the front cover of a very, very popular magazine in the UK in the next coming months. Um, the MR2 National Day, let's talk about that because I didn't manage to get there. Mrs John Coupland wasn't feeling very well, actually. <laughs> I'm a little bit upset by the fact that I didn't get to go. It was a beautiful day, lots of cars turned up, despite there being a change of venue. And why was I disappointed? Well, 
it was 40 years of the Toyota MR2 and to take my Toyota MR2 that was 40 years old to the event would have been quite special. But family comes first. Mrs. John Cooten obviously had to come first there. Um, there's no under, undertone there of animosity. Genuinely, she wasn't very well. Um, and so obviously I had to put her first I'll be at home to look after her. So there's always next year, isn't there? But we've got the MR2 on the road now and I managed to take it for an MOT and at least drive it this year. Things that are coming up as well, the Proton Black Knight has been invited back to the Festival of the Unexceptional 2024. It's the 10th anniversary of the Festival of the Unexceptional as well. So the Proton Black Knight will be there. We've got MOTs coming up for other Nissan Micras on the channel. I've just booked one for a week's time, so we've got some work to do on that. And Pistons, the podcast as well. We've got lots of that being filmed. There is so much stuff coming to the channel between now and, I don't know, the end of this year. I, I set myself a little challenge this year that 2024, I wanted to be the biggest year on the channel. We started the year with the Rover 75 and uh, an increase of about 2,000 subscribers, which was massive for us um, and massive revenue jumps as well. So thank you very much. But I, I rebranded the channel. I rebranded um, the thumbnails. I've I am working really hard on the channel in the background and for those of you that don't know this isn't my day job this doesn't pay my mortgage um, both Mrs John Coopland and I both have proper jobs dad is retired but um, this is a hobby <laughs> and uh, it is taking up a lot of time so thank you very much to everybody that uh, that watches because it does make it all worthwhile let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see next by the way on the channel and uh, tell me how you're getting on. How you doing? Are you enjoying it? What are you loving? What are you hating? What do you like? What don't you like? Because that really does help. And it's it's just two blokes in a shed messing about with um, with old cars. My voice is gone because I've done a lot of presenting today, so I'm going to uh, sign off. But thank you genuinely. If you could subscribe, please do. If you haven't already done so, why not? If you could give uh, the channel a bit of a like, please do and uh, comment down below just say hello it's always good to hear from uh, subscribers i'm on the way to dad's now then i'm about to pull into his driveway and tell him the good news about the mot for the audi a4 thanks for being with us hope you enjoyed this little catch-up drive on what's coming to the channel what's new in my life what's coming up in my life until next time have a great day thanks for watching goodbye Oh, I still love this car. I still love this car. It's so comfortable. If you've enjoyed this video, I've selected a few more specially for you on this page. Click either side to select them now. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button to always stay up to date with the channel.